Hi, welcome to your 10 minute tune up. Just 10 minutes to take a quick pause in your day, move a little bit, breathe and feel good. Welcome to January. I hope it's going well so far. Some things we do in January is try to set the tone for the year. And to do that, we like to think about setting mindful intentions, not lofty goals or stringent um, to-do lists. We just want you to learn how to um, set the tone for the year in a mindful way that'll help you kind of ride through the waves of the months and the weeks um, a little more smoothly. So in order to do that, I often start by thinking about my habits. What am I just in the routine of doing and which things are really good? Like brushing my teeth every day. That's a really good habit to have. So I'm going to choose to keep that one this year. And then what are some habits that I have that aren't so good that I want to start to change? And before I can decide what to change, I need to first observe what those habits are. So in this class today, we're going to come at it through the lens of observation, looking at ourselves, um, taking a step back, a little removed, less judgment, just more clean observation. And then after we observe, we can decide which things are good and we want to keep and which things aren't so good. And maybe we want to change those habits as the weeks and months move on. So in this class, you'll pick up on some of postural things, some physical things, but I encourage you after class to start to observe your life with an objective lens and decide which things are really good and you want to keep and which things aren't so good. And you may, might want to start to to let some of those things go. But again, the first step is observation. So we'll practice that today. Sit well in your chair. Feet point forward, knees over ankles, shoulders over hips. Close your eyes and just settle into this space. Start by observing how you feel in this moment. What feels good? And what are some things you can change a little bit to make yourself feel a little bit better? Can you sit a little taller? Can you relax a little more? Relax the muscles of your face, your jaw, your fingers. And start to deepen and lengthen your breath. And breathe in and out through your nose, slowly. Every time you inhale, can you sit a little taller, feel a little more open? Every time you exhale, can you relax a little bit more? Settle in, find comfort. Just take a couple more breaths like this, slow inhales and exhales through your nose. If you're congested, it's always okay to breathe through the mouth. And I want you to continue to sit upright like this. Keep the breath slow and steady throughout class. Just move the head a little bit, drop your chin to your chest. Pause, stretch the back of your neck. If you'd like, you can start to make big circles with your head. And while you make these circles, really just observe what's happening. Which parts of the necks are, neck is tight? Oh, that's tight for me. That's not so tight. Oh, that's a little tight. That's tight, that's not so tight. Okay, so I'm just observing as I go. Make another circle here. and then switch directions of the circle. Just one or two times this way. Breathing slow in and out of your nose, relaxing as you exhale, uplifting as you ex inhale. And eventually bring your head back up over your shoulders and open your eyes. You can scooch forward in your chair so you have a little room behind you. Reach your arms up into the air like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Get really tall. Take a big inhale. So exhale, twist to the right. The right hand can come behind you. I'm bringing it onto my chair. Left hand on the thigh. Pull your belly in, sit tall, and slowly twist. Use those exhales to even twist a little bit further. You can look over your back shoulder. I'm just observing how I feel twisting to the right. And on your next inhale, reach your arms up, look up, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Same thing, you can hold your chair, you can hold your thigh. Keep the spine long and continue your twist as you hold this pose for a couple breaths. 
Try to pull the muscles of your belly in and lift up. Just observe how you feel twisting to the left. It might feel a little different than the right. That's okay. We're, we're looking at ourselves through this lens of observation without judgment. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. Look up. Roll out your wrists as you lower your arms down. You can shake out your hands. Good. Hands behind the head. Arch your back. Look up. Elbows back, shoulders down. Take a couple of breaths here. Breathe through your belly. Breathe through your chest. Squeeze the muscles of your back. Let's take one more breath here. As you exhale, you'll round your back and tuck your chin. Tuck your tailbone a little bit too. Pull your belly in so these muscles are engaging and the muscles along the back are stretching. We're going to go back and forth a couple times with the breath. As you inhale, arch your back, look up. As you exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, reach your arms up. Look up, stretch. Exhale, lower the arms down. I always like to rotate the wrists as the arms come down. Shake out the hands. I'm going to pick up your right knee. Give a little squeeze. And as you do that, sit tall. So I don't want you to round here. I want you to lift up and roll out the right ankle. Just observe how the right ankle feels. We're picking up information so that as the days move on after class, you can kind of decide which things felt good and which things didn't feel so good. And the things that don't feel so good, you can address with more movement, stretching, going to a doctor, whatever you got to do. I'm going to cross the right ankle over the left thigh, flex the right foot, sit tall. Observe how this right hip feels. Take a big breath here. You can choose to stay upright or you can hinge forward over your shin. Hands can rest down, forearms can rest down. You can even bring your chest all the way down. If you have your desk in front of you, you can rest your head or your hands down on your desk. We'll just be here for two or three more breaths. Breathe into your right hip, observe your right hip. Try to relax around your right hip. When we find things in the body that are habitually tight, we know that then, then's the time to address it by more stretching, more movement, seeing a professional. Sometimes we don't even know we're tight until we come into a stretch like this and it illuminates it for us. And we just have to learn how to pay attention. Last breath here. Come out of the pose the same way we came in. You can grab onto your knee, lift it up, roll out the ankle, and slowly place the right foot back on the floor. Do the other side, pick up the left knee, and sit tall when you do that. So you're using a little core action to lift up, roll out your left ankle, and eventually place the left ankle on the right thigh. And again, you can stay, if this is enough, if you're feeling the stretch ready, just stay here and breathe. If you want to feel more sensation in your left hip, you hinge forward. And you try to hinge forward with a straight back. Find that spot where you're feeling the stretch and then you can relax into it. Then you can round a little bit. Bring your head down, bring your arms down, whatever you got to do. Then hold and breathe into the left hip. It's like you're directing your breath there to try to open it up slowly, breath by breath. There's no need to fix every tight thing. We're observing what's tight today. And we fix those things slowly over time. And the stuff we can't fix completely, we learn to just observe without judgment. Send a little breath there, send a little kindness there, and work with it as the days, the years go on. Take our last breath here, stretching the left hip. And when you're ready, you can just lift up, pick up the left knee, roll out the ankle, sit tall, and eventually place the foot back on the floor. 
And sit, sit well, shoulders over hips, head over shoulders, close your eyes and take a couple breaths here, observing how you feel now after a little bit of movement, a little bit of breath work, a little bit of mindfulness. A little bit each day goes a long way. We want to learn how to observe ourselves, our bodies, our minds, our lives. Observe without judgment. It's as, it's as if you're stepping outside your body and kind of peering in. What's, what's good? What feels good? What can we hold on to? What can we continue in this new year? And what's something that doesn't feel so good? What's something that we want to work on? We want to maybe let go of. It can be physical, it can be emotional, mental. You can make a decision now about something that you'd like to let go of over the next few days and weeks. Or you can just let this mentality sink in and use it as the days go on. Learn how to become an observer without judgment. It's hard and it takes practice. You don't have to be perfect today or ever. You just have to learn how to walk through life with a little more mindfulness, a little more ease. Take a last big breath together. We'll breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth with a big sigh. When you're ready, sit tall and inhale. Open wide and exhale. Take your time coming out of your meditation. You can open your eyes slowly, wiggle your fingers, take a little stretch if you'd like, and welcome back into your day. Thanks for joining me for this quick 10-minute tune-up. I'll see you next time.